Mohamed Baylor Berry grew up in extreme poverty in Sierra Leone, selling meat and kerosene to pay his school fees. Against the odds, Berry became a doctor dedicated to helping his country recover from civil war, Ebola, and now COVID-19. When I was growing up, I wanted to become a doctor. I used to make my own hospital at home. The kids in the neighborhood would come and I would pretend to treat them. I studied very hard and I got a scholarship to go to medical school. Barry was one of the first students to attend Sierra Leone's National Medical School. His scholarship covered tuition only, not food, transportation, or textbooks. Every weekend I would borrow textbook from my friends, I would handwrite the whole textbooks, and I walked several miles to school and several miles back home. After Dr. Barry graduated from medical school, he had offers for well-paid medical jobs abroad. He declined. I made up my mind to work in Sierra Leone. We had a 10-year civil war in Sierra Leone that caused a lot of devastation. One of the tactics that the rebels used was to chop people's arms. So there was a huge number of amputated civilians in the country, people that are intentionally amputated during the war. And I wanted to help them. So we founded Well Body Alliance. The clinic was dedicated for amputees, but we decided to open the clinic to everyone, to all patients. Well Body Alliance offered community health care programs for diseases and maternal and child health. Then in 2014, Ebola struck. Ebola actually drive the economy down to the drains. I felt proud the staff were heroic and they were committed to serve the population. Dr. Berry built a partnership between his Well Body Alliance and Partners in Health to provide care for Ebola and other health concerns. Its secret weapon, community health care workers. During Ebola, I was part of the people that developed the community health worker program. So what we do is train community health workers to serve as social mobilizers. They go house to house, they sit with the family, talk about Ebola, answer questions, dismiss meets, the people trust them. And during COVID, we use the same method. I want to see a Sierra Leone with a robust health system where people don't die from diseases that are preventable, where people can have the care that they deserve.